Hello and welcome to the Reef Talk Extra Channel. Now from time to time I get asked what the difference is between Tropic Marion Alpha Reef and Kalkwasa. And actually in some respects they are very similar in that they are both a one part dosing solution that will replace the major elements that your corals, your stony corals, will uptake as they grow. But in pretty much every other respect they are very very different and there are certain uh, benefits of using uh, Tropic Marin Alpha Reef that you don't get from Kalkwasa and vice versa. So today I'll talk you through the pros and cons of each and the differences and similarities so you can decide what is best for you and your aquarium. Now I've drawn up a list of all the pros and cons and the differences so I'm going to go through those with you one by one starting by explaining what they are. Well Alpha Reef is a branded product made only by Tropic Marin whereas Kalkwasa is just a chemical solution and actually the chemical you buy in powdered form is called calcium hydroxide. You just mix that with water and that creates Kalkwasser. Now actually you can mix both of these up uh, yourself if you prefer. Tropic Marin Alpha Reef comes in a bottle which is what most people buy. It's already ready mixed, it saves a bit of faff but it also comes in a powdered version which will save you a bit of money and you mix 160 grams of Tropic Marin powder in one litre of water. Whereas with Kalkwasser you can't buy it in a ready mix solution, you have to buy the powder and mix it with RODI water yourself and in order to do so you need to mix 1.5 grams of Kalkwasser per litre of water. But the main difference between the two is what they actually add to your aquarium. Alpha Reef is a complete solution and it contains alkalinity, calcium, magnesium and trace elements which is pretty much everything in theory that your corals will need in terms of elements whereas Kalkwasa only contains alkalinity and calcium so it doesn't have anything in it that boosts your magnesium and it doesn't take care of trace elements so you'll need to deal with those separately. Now actually that's very easily done you can just buy a bottle of magnesium separately and dose that and in terms of trace elements the likelihood is that you probably won't need to look at trace elements at all in the first year or so and even on two of the three tanks I've been running on Calcrosser I haven't been dosing trace elements at all and they still look really good the corals look really healthy. Now you might see some Calcrosser powdered products that claim to contain magnesium and while the powder technically might do it actually won't do any good for you because my understanding is that magnesium is not soluble in Calcrosser so you won't actually add any of it to your tank. So if you buy any product that has Kalkwasser, claiming it also has magnesium as well, that won't increase your magnesium and you'll still need to make separate provision for magnesium. So if Kalkwasser has no magnesium or trace elements, why would you want to use it over all three? Well, there are two reasons, the first of which is pH. And this is probably the main reason people dose Kalkwasser. All three doesn't do anything for your pH at all and won't increase it whereas Kalkwasa absolutely will, and that will make your stony corals grow faster. And the second advantage Kalkwasa has over Alpha Reef is the price, and this is a huge advantage. Tropic Marin Alpha Reef actually for a dosing solution is relatively expensive. If you've only got a small tank like my Cade over my shoulder, it's probably not gonna cost you a lot of money because you won't use an awful lot of it, but actually drop for drop it is a very expensive product compared to most other dosing products on the market. Kalkwasa on the other hand is absolutely dirt cheap, it's so cheap, in fact, that it's basically free. For £30 here in the UK, you can buy one litre of Alpha Reef, whereas if you buy Kalkwasser, £30 will get you, and I'm not exaggerating here, 16,000 litres. Now, to be fair, you will have to use more Kalkwasser than you would Alpha Reef, because Alpha Reef is more potent, so it's not quite 16,000 to one, but you certainly won't need to use 16,000 times as much Kalkwasser as you would Alpha Reef, and if you spent a tenner on Kalkwasser, on pretty much all tanks, it will probably last you at least a year. And on something like my Cade, I bet a tenner's worth of Kalkwasser would last about two years. But that's the last advantage Kalkwasser has over Alpha Reef, and Alpha Reef does have one last trump card in terms of space. Now, both of these being a one bottle dosing solution does mean that you save space over having two or three bottles, and you also save cost because you only need one dosing pump. However, in terms of the space saving, Alpha Reef absolutely has that licked. Now, a litre of Kalkwasser on a tank like my Cade over my shoulder would probably last a couple of weeks, whereas a litre of Alpha Reef would last months on end. And that means you end up using a bigger container for Kalkwasser, and in fact, sometimes you can end up using a really big container for Kalkwasser, which takes up a lot of space. And if you don't have space in the dry section of your cabinet, it can look a bit ugly in your living room, your office, or wherever you have your tank. And there is one final downside that both of them share together, and that is adjustment. While it's great that Tropic Marin Alpha Reef has everything, calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, and trace elements, you can't adjust them individually 
because it's all in one bottle. And the chances are that your corals are not going to uptake all of those elements in the exact ratio Tropic Marin has them in the bottle. So if your alkalinity is at a good level but your calcium is too low, you can't adjust the dose to bump the calcium up without increasing the alkalinity. And the same goes for Kalkwasa in that you can't separately adjust the amount of calcium and alkalinity you dose. So with all that being said then, which is best? Well, actually I don't think either is better and they both have advantages and disadvantages and it will depend what you want. In terms of simplicity, All for Reef is probably the winner because it's one bottle that does magnesium and trace elements whereas you'll have to make separate provision for those with Kalkwasser. But quite simply, if you want cheap or if you want the pH boost, Kalkwasser is absolutely the way to go. And if that's you, I've made a whole playlist of videos about Kalkwasser that you can check out here. So check them out next. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next time. And until then, happy reefing.